Good morning you guys and I am back to do a girl talk getting ready with me. I feel like I haven't done one of these in so so long. It's really been so so long. I have so much to update you guys on. Um, I love these videos. It's just They're like beauty vlogs and they're great. They're like a mix between this channel and my vlog channel and I'm obsessed with them. So if you guys know um, I obviously have been vlogging my entire trip in Japan and you guys probably keep up with me a lot on there but this channel I talk about a little bit more, so yeah. Or these videos I talk a little bit more. So let's get started. I'm just gonna do my makeup. I don't know how the lighting is. Uh, I'm using natural light on my new camera. Um, I got a new Canon um, 70D, US 70D. I love it. I'm so excited. Um, great purchase. But let's get into makeup. I um, it's like 7:30 and I have school at 9:30, so. We're just gonna get into it. I have a cup of coffee here with no cream and sugar. Who am I? I know, weird. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, I'm still in my hotel. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting on makeup. L'Oreal. This is gonna be just my normal everyday makeup. Sorry, not not being exciting or crazy. Um, not that it really ever is if you watch my channel. Oh, I'm like trying to make things happen. Struggles of not having like a legit setup are really getting to me. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Stay. Okay. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm still in my like apart my um extended living uh hotel thing in Tokyo. Uh, my language school got uh, extended. So I was only supposed to be here for ten weeks, and now I think I'm here for like 13 weeks or something like that. I leave uh, at like the end of September. So, oh my god, I am really don't want to leave Japan. I mean, uh, not leaving Japan. I'm using my uh, sculpting brush from Real Techniques to so just pat that in. Uh, I don't want to leave Tokyo. I love it here. Um, I'm happy here. I met some new friends here. Like, everything is just good. And, I mean, obviously, I'm so, so excited to be opening a new store in Osaka and, like, recruit. And my life is going to be, like, cool and exciting again. Not that it isn't right now. But I just, I feel like I finally found my routine and now I'm getting dragged out of it again. But, I mean, that's the beauty of being an expat. Uh, once you get comfortable, they throw something else at you and you're like, oh, wait. But you're resilient. And I'm like, yeah, mm, something like that. Hot, okay, hot tamale. So, yeah, I've really, really been in loving, been in loving, <laughs> been loving um, Tokyo. I just, like, you guys know I've always been, like, a super independent person, as is, um, but Tokyo has brought out, like, a whole nother side of my independence, and it's great, and I really love it here. Um, I'm using my uh, youthful wear by Physicians Formula. Um, I really love it here. Like, I, there, when I first got here, I was like, oh my god, like, this is cool, but I never, like, I could never see myself actually, like, loving it here. And now that I'm here, I love it here. I, I do. I mean, it's, I, it's a great, great place. Like, I'm sure it's a lot like any major city, uh, except for Tokyo. It's so clean. And I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. It's just really like a safe, clean place. Like you can leave your backpack like on the chair, like at Starbucks to get a seat. I like leave my backpack on the chair, go to order, and then from ordering, like I'll drop my drink off and then I'll run to the bathroom, which is like not right there. And in America, you like feel like, and this isn't like an open like area, like inside of a building, so it's not like an actual shop. But in America, like, you don't do that because you're like, oh my god, is someone going to steal my backpack? Especially when I have, like, money in it, like, a decent amount in, like, my back, in my camera and stuff. And I'm just like, that thought just, like, doesn't even, like, cross my mind here, which is kind of good and kind of bad because when I go back to America, I'll probably have everything stolen from me. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Oh, and I say there's that a lot now. I don't, I don't really don't know why. Is that a new thing I've been doing? Weird. I have like this like breakout rash thing on my face here and you can never see it until I put makeup on and then it like stands out. It's like bumpy clogged pores. 
annoying. I don't know why my life and my skin hates me. Okay, so we're just blending that in again with my sculpting brush. I've been loving this for foundation. I feel like I'm so tired today. Why? So I'm just patting a little extra coverage where I need it. I'm done. Still foundation on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go get a towel and wipe that off so I don't get it all over my row. Okay, we're good. We good, we good. All right, so yeah, basically life has been awesome. Um, language training has been going so much smoother. I hated language training in the beginning and now I really actually like it. Um, it's getting easier. I'm getting less defeated with myself. I'm under. I'm being able to appreciate how freaking far I've come. Oh my god! Like, there's no better feeling than like. Obviously, I struggled so much in the beginning. Like, I can't even tell you guys. Like, they would say a word, and my mouth just couldn't make that word. Like, I couldn't get over my brain trying to be like, that's not the way you say it. Because I'm a very logical thinker, and I'm just like, no. I sounds like I not E and I'm like what the heck so like my brain I had to like really train my brain to look at it a different way and I just it took me a really long time I hadn't learned a language since I was in 10th grade um, I I like got my college level um, Spanish done when I was in 9th and 10th grade so I hadn't done it or looked at a language in like years like years you guys like it's been like over 10 years since I've like really dove into a language and I didn't realize, I did not anticipate that coming into it, how hard that was going to be for me. I was just like, I can do it, whatever. And it's definitely been the most challenging thing I've ever done in my life. But I'm so proud of myself and when I can get through like the enunciations of things and I get through all the way and they're like, you've really improved and I'm like, thank you, thank you small wins dude like I'm nowhere near uh, I'm going in with my uh, oh sorry I didn't even tell you what this was I'm terrible at these this is the Vise the yeah Vise concealer it's definitely not Japanese because they don't have V in the language um, but it's the CC concealer it just looks like that it does have Japanese symbols all over it I don't know I picked it up in a local drugstore and I've been liking it under my eyes because it's kind of like a little salmon -y. um but it's light and blends away really well. So, yeah, I've been liking it. And then I'm just going with my Maybelline Fit Me, concealing all of the face demons that I have. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been very challenging, very just, like, pushing me to extremes that I never even thought I could get to. And I've gotten to them, and I feel great about it. So, let me zoom in on this baby I don't know what my face is looking like because my mirror is so far away and I'm just like oh that's what I look like oh shit okay I wonder what I look like in this camera because it's like actually like a good quality camera so you can like see see all I'm working with and you're like oh I should probably uh watch some tutorials on how to do makeup if that's what you're working with anyhow so um, yeah, so everything's been going really well with uh, my language training. Uh, at first I was like, oh my god, I don't ever want to do... They do like extended learning, so I can continue learning for a, more, another 10 weeks, once a week, uh, or twice a week, something like that. Um, two hours a week, essentially, and um, I can continue that once I get into Osaka. And I remember at the beginning being like, there's no way in hell I'm ever going to do that because this is literally the worst thing I've ever done and now I'm like because there was one day where Nilani was sick and didn't come to class that I just had one-on-one -on -one and that was the best learning I had ever done and the most confident and just like good I felt and I don't know if it's because I controlled my own pace probably um or like I was the I pushed myself I had to find the answer like I couldn't zone out I couldn't do anything like it was me it was me in that class and it was me and that teacher and if I didn't get it she would know I just didn't get it so 
I just, it was good. And I just really liked that sort of thing. So now that I've realized that, I'm like, oh my god, I'm totally going to do extended learning. And yeah, I don't think I'll ever be necessarily fluent, but who knows. Um, but I do know that I catch a lot more now, like what people are saying, and their responses to them. So I think that... Um, I'm thinking more like how, like because of the words are different, like how you respond, you're like, mmm, this, nah, and I'm like, I think that way now, like I'm like, mmm, yeah, mmm, like I don't say yes anymore, I'm just like, mmm, 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 because that's what they do, it's so funny, I remember the first time like hearing a lady on the train having a conversation with this dude, and she was just like, mmm, Mmm, mmm. And I'm over here like, will someone get their phone because it's vibrating? <laughs> I'm like, what a freak. And now, like, I'm the mmm -er, you know? So, I don't know. But yeah, everything's been just like really good. And I'm adjusting to life in Japan so much more than I could have ever thought I would have. Um, I don't really get sad anymore um, about being here because life is, life is good at the moment. I'm sure I will have more sad days. Um, but I had sad days at home as well, so there's nothing nothing new and different about that. Uh, but yeah, okay, oh, sorry, again, I use the Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzer Palette, because I think that's the only bronzer that I have right now that's not breaking me out. I brought the Hula Bronzer, but I'm like 90% sure it's breaking me out. Um, I'm thinking I'm in a place like a large Sephora order once I get settled um, in Osaka, which won't be for another like couple of months, uh, probably like two, three months, uh, because I really want to try some new stuff, and they will ship here. I just don't know how long it's going to take. I'm going to be here for another three weeks, but, oh no, God, yeah, I'm going to be here enough for another three weeks, but I think it'll take longer than three weeks to ship, so I don't want it to get lost, um, but yeah, I'm going to try some new stuff, so let me know in the comments down below some of your recommendations for stuff that you're loving from Sephora right now, because I can't really ship, or, well, and let me know other companies you know that ship to Japan, because I'm like really struggling with like wanting to get stuff, um, especially like, what do I really want um, that I can't get? I can't think right now. Drugstore stuff. Oh my god, I wish Walmart or Target would ship to Japan. I would be like the happiest person in the world. Um, because I have found a lot of things in Japan that I like just as well or better, but there are some things where I'm just like, oh, I really want this this one thing. Um, like when I run out of my mascara, I tried one Japanese mascara, I need to probably try some more, but when I run out of my uh, Maybelline Lash Sensation, I have, I think, two more backups. Uh, if I run out of that, that's going to be a, a sad day in the world. And um, what else if I run out of? What else? Oh, this uh, Youthful Wear Foundation sad day. I'll probably just have my parents ship it to me because uh, I'm thinking about doing that. Also, they don't sell Steve Madden shoes here, you guys. And if you know, I work for Hollister and they collab with Steve Madden and I can't buy any of the freaking shoes, which is so annoying. So I'm like, mm, I need to find, see if like Zappos, maybe Zappos ships here. I don't really know. Or if you know, like if you live in Japan or anything like that, if you know of a company that does sell Steve Madden, I haven't seen it in any department stores. Not that department stores are very much the same here. They're very different. Um, but, okay. Blush is on. I'm using this blush. My blush is hella bright. I just like bright blush. I like to look like a clown. I don't really. I just edited my favorites video last night and looked like a complete clown. And I think I'm going to refilm it because it's so terrible. Um, but I'm using the Suzy New York Blush on Blush in, I believe it's just pink. And uh, it says it's a New York blush, but it says it's made in Japan. It's so pretty. It was in my favorites video. Um, so pretty. Or it will be in my favorites video. I don't know which one I'm going to post first. But it's like an ombre blush. I love it. It's very similar to Elf's Pink Passion, which I'm running low on as well. I can't believe I hit pan on that blush. It's phenomenal. Okay, let's do these brows, baby brows. Um, doo -doo -doo brows just this brow is so wonky I'm gonna need to get Botox here one day or just age gracefully probably just age gracefully but who knows okay I'm like kind of hot right now I like have been turning down my air because it's so humid in my apartment and I know you're like why are you turning your hair because the guy told me that since my whole this whole wall that you're behind is like windows like it just like 
I guess condensation sort of crap happens. I don't know. You just told me to turn it down lower. Um, and then I also have a dehumidifier, which I normally have on, but I don't have it on right now. Um, and I was cold when I woke up this morning, so I turned down or up the air. Okay. Using my Anastasia brow dip in, uh, I think this is in blonde or something. Taupe. And I'm just gonna I've never been good at filling in my brows. It's just not a thing that I'm good at. I just make it happen. They don't look natural at all. Like some girls' brows, I'm just like, oh my god, those look so good. And my brows, I'm just like, okay girl, you just basically colored in the brows that you already have. But whatever, I guess that's natural, right? I could just never get the top line of this one right. Oh well. Um, anyways, what else do I normally talk about these in these videos? Um, boys, yeah, that's normally what I talk about this video. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, mm, I'm really, like, not good at keeping secrets. You guys know this. I say everything about everything, and there is a boy, let's just put it that way. Nothing else as of this moment am I going to say, but there is a boy, and God, I hate this because I know he watches my videos. I don't know if he watches these videos, but I know he watches my videos, but it, it's never stopped me before, so screw it. There's this boy. Um, he's great, and everything's been going really well. I'm like really sad that obviously I'm moving to Osaka and he's staying in Japan. He's half Japanese. Whoa, man down. He's half Japanese um, and he lives here and yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good. We have so much fun together. Uh, I can never wait until the next time I get to see him and it's just always like the best feeling. Uh, Life is good. Life is good. So, so I'm gonna say for right now, um, all is good in the world of my uh, personal love life, um, and I'm happy with it. Things are good now. Who's to say what's gonna happen um, when I move to Osaka? But right now, I'm letting future Kelly deal with that, and right now, I'm letting present Kelly enjoy herself because I very rarely do that and it's something I need to work on so I'm working on it so anyways brows filled in got enough uh, juicy details to hold you over until next time I decide to say something stupid on the internet about my personal life because I share way too much way way too much I don't even sh I don't think I've even shared them oh nuts and bolts oh my god I almost dumped this foundation all over the rug I want to been terrible okay I don't even think I've shared on my vlog channel about that yet because hashtag secret hashtag I'm super secretive okay well zooming in baby zooming in um you guys always ask me if I'm still using my rapid lash or my lash serum yes I'm still using rapid lash that's another thing I'm going to be so sad when it runs out because you can only purchase, well, you can purchase it a lot of places, but Walmart.com, you guys, I even got Neilani hooked on it and her eyebrows, I mean, her eyelashes were like just small and not the greatest and they're bam, like they're so long. I'm telling you this stuff works, you guys, and order it on um, Walmart.com. You can get one for like 30 or 40 bucks. It's phenomenal you guys like I swear by it you have to use it every day um, but it's like a quick process at the end of every night and you will notice a huge difference let me just tell you um, so I'm gonna apply my last sensational mascara and I always look weird doing this so I'm just like not even gonna do it on camera all right one eye done isn't it crazy how much of a difference mascara can make it's like literally it's the only thing you need in life you need the boys when you have mascara that every lonely girl in the world. Okay, next time. I love my nail polish. It's um, by Color Club and it's called Blooming. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with these mattes. And the mattes, um, Color Club's mattes still don't last like a super long time, but they last a lot longer than um, China Glaze's mattes. So if you're looking for a good matte, like blue, aqua, or pink, try Color Club. Um, they don't look as great in the bottle, but they look amazing on the nails and yeah they do chip 
quite quickly. Um, but top it with sesh feet and you'll be good for a little while longer. Also, how about the fact that sesh feet is $20 a bottle here? True life really sucks but I brought like my extra refill bottle I shipped that to Japan so we set all right I think that's sufficient enough sorry if you can hear my washer dryer machine thing in the back um my bad I just realized that was going but this is my completed look I just wear this every day to school it's pretty much my everyday makeup um simple fresh clean looking makeup I'm gonna finish uh, I think I might have time to film another video you guys so I'm gonna try to pump that out my favorites video and that way I can edit after class and yeah we can get into this whole filming situation so you'll see a couple more videos uh, with this lovely hotel puke brown green background and then I will be off to Osaka to another hotel and then finally Hopefully, eventually, someday, I will have my own apartment again. Um, so yeah, you guys, I love you. Thank you for keeping up with my journey. Thank you for listening to me ramble and keep me company while I put on this face. And uh, yeah, check out my vlog channel if you want to see this out of time out in that world of Japan. Have some fun. Probably too much fun sometimes, but whatevs. Um, I love you guys, and until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye!